So our first guest for today, Tandeka Nodada. She grew up in the township of Kwamantuta. Kwamantuta? Kwamantuta, yes. Kwamantuta <laughs> in KwaZulu-Natal. And her love for performance began at a really early age. She cut her teeth in the industry throughout the role of Tuli um, and the popular SABC youth drama, Chisa. She has portrayed numerous roles on TV series like Mtumzini.com and Harvest, to mention a few of them over the years. And she has shown true grit in gravitating to Awards, working behind the scenes as well as casting director and now a producer. Welcome to the show. Hi, thank you so much for having uh, me. <laughs> I'm just so obsessed with you because I think your body of work is so remarkable but so inspirational as a woman. Like you've literally done industrial theatre, corporate theatre, theatre, <laughs> TVs, movies, like all of it. How did it all start for you? Where did you find that love? I've always loved performing from a young age, yeah. but I must say it's only when I went to high school and I had an amazing drama teacher who used to think she was just the best thing ever. So I enjoyed myself there and I was just doing so well in drama and I realized yeah. that, you know what, I really want to do this. Yeah. So I studied drama and then yes, the rest is history. And you really are a true thespian, I think, in every sense because you've covered every kind of genre of performance. Which is your favorite and which do you think brought out the moment in your career where you thought, oh, I love what I'm doing? <laughs> Because I'm theatre trained, so it's yeah. always my first love. I love theatre. Yeah. Um, but, you know, you get to do television and then you do other stuff, your corporate theatre. So you're exposed to so much. So I can't really choose as, at this point. That yeah. is why I'm not just an actress. I'm a casting director. I'm a producer. I just, I love everything that has to do with performing arts. Yeah, mm. I think it was released uh, recently in the news that I think it's the BAFTAs have opened up a new category in their awards segment to give awards for casting directors. Oh, yeah. So uh, it made so much <laughs> sense to me because I think the casting of the film is so, or anything, is so important because that literally makes or breaks the, the, the show. So much. So w what was your decision to become a, a casting director as well, above all the other work <laughs> that you do? So firstly, we all know when you're just an actress, jobs are just, they don't just come knocking. Yeah. So oh. it was just the weight of uh, for auditions uh, that killed me. Yeah. And so I thought, okay, l listen, I studied, what else can I do? So I I started casting uh, for commercials because I used to get a lot of commercials to a yeah. point where I knew the lady that was uh, owning hit casting. So I started by just doing commercials and I realized, wow, this is also needed as well very much in our industry, yeah. especially for somebody that is trained uh, to be a casting director because I understand performance. And when you become a casting director, you need to feed an yeah. actor. You know, you need to understand a script. So you become like a director as well. Yeah. So that is why I'm very finicky when it comes comes to casting, whether it's small roles, because even the small role is very important. It can yeah. kill a scene. So um, I, I focus a lot on just casting the right person. So, I mean, what is the actual role of a casting director? You get to literally choose whoever's going to be in that film. <laughs> so basically, you get the brief from the channel yeah. and also the producers, and they will tell you that we're looking for somebody who's going to play this role. So then you start communicating with agencies and you actually do the, the actual auditions. So you see about 100, 200 people. Yeah. So the channel wouldn't want to sit down and look through 200 people. So you narrow it down for them to the best three for yeah. each role. So, and then you say, here, let's choose. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, when I'm casting, it's never, it's never about the weight, the looks. Can you really perform? Yeah. Are you believable yeah. in that role? That is what is important to me. Yeah. One of the most famous, like, old school directors, I'm not quite, it could have been like Humphrey Bogart or something, said people don't go to the movies to watch you act. They go and they watch you be. Yes. Because it's just so fascinating to watch someone just pull off an amazing performance. And yes. you, you see it when you see it. Hey? You see it. You see it. <laughs> you see the professionalism. You see the hunger. Yeah. You see somebody taking their job seriously. Because yeah. now people think acting is just a hobby. Oh, I look good. I yeah. can just be. And then when I give you the script, then you realize acting is really hard. Yeah. We need to believe it. So, But for us to believe it, you need to believe it first. Yeah. Well, I think that's when you're really good at your job, when you mm. make it look easy mm. so that <laughs> yes. someone's like oh I can do that <laughs> meantime when they actually try they're like oh mm. this is this is hard so you've obviously mastered at like on stage in front of the camera mm. casting and now you've literally gone into producing your yes. first
this film. I mean, sisters are doing it for themselves. Yes. Why did you feel like you wanted to do it? And I mean, what was your process? I just, firstly, I needed to grow in this industry. Yeah. You know, I've been in this industry for more than 15 years now. So it wasn't enough for me to just be an actress and yeah. to just be a casting director. I thought, what else do I love doing? And then I started looking at producers. So I thought, you know what? I can be that. I can produce. I can run the whole ship. Exactly. You know, I just need somebody to trust me and we go ahead. So that's why I said I'm going to produce my first film. I think there's something so exceptional behind the narrative of a female producer or a female director mm -hmm. because it doesn't necessarily mean, mean to be a female uh, led thing. It's mm -hmm. just your view on something would be different to what a male perspective would be. Yeah. So how's your journey been in that? Because I know your husband also is, is a, a director. director. So yes. essentially he works for you. <laughs> yes, I hired you. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, the journey, it, I, I won't lie, it hasn't been that hard yeah you know I I just thought I want to do it and yeah. I didn't get uh, too much resistance because I feel like we spend so much time as females in this industry going ah the men are getting this work ah we also want but we're not doing so I realized yeah. instead of just talking and complaining let me just do yeah. you know so I just started doing obviously with the great support of my husband he's been behind the scenes even when I was just acting so he has more experience than I so yeah. he was a great support he said you know what let's do it yeah. Yes, boy. And I said, you can direct. I'll pay you this much. <laughs> <laughs> which you will then spend on me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but that is absolutely incredible. And I think it says a lot for your relationship as well, when you can work together, because you have that foundation and that support. Yeah. And someone supporting, like, believing in you as well. It must be quite nice to have in your workplace as well. It's amazing. Uh, what I love more about my husband is that he's very calm. I'm yeah. the loud mouth. I'm the shouting one. Even in the house, I always say I'm the lion in, yeah. <laughs> at the house. So he's very calm. He's very chilled. He'll just say, look, it's fine. I understand and you can have it. Yeah. So I think that what works as well, we don't make people uncomfortable even at work because we know how to communicate, yeah. you know, and also we both, um, we're both hungry for this industry so we push ourselves because we can't fail otherwise the kids suffer. Oh, shame. <laughs> well, you like, can't fail. We can't, you know, so we constantly have to push each other to make yeah. this work. And when you love what you do so much, you're never going to fail. Uh, yes, you never, you never. <laughs> So we are so excited for your debut film yes. producing gig and it is absolutely incredible. I cannot share with you enough how brilliant this film is, but we're going to see it a little bit later. We're going to see snippets of it a little bit later. Thank you so much for being here. Thank we you are too. so proud of you. You are amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs>